Well, welcome my fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here coming today from Lansing, Michigan. And I'm down here at the Dodge Turner House. If you watched my uh, 4th of July parade, you saw this car right here in the parade. Uh, this is a new thing they're doing this year called Frank Fest. Uh, it's like, uh, I think it's going to be like where they have like stands and stuff like that. And, Stuff about Frankenstein and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be cool. So let's go check this out. Travel with me, will you? Like I said, this is uh, the Dodge Turner house. And I've done a, several videos inside that mansion right there. It's a historical mansion here. And I said, this is a new event they got here called Frank Fest. Look at this. They got this minivan decorated up like Frankenstein. See, they even got the bolts on the front. <laughs> That's cool. Frank Fest, look, they got one of the Ghostbusters guys here too. Little HHR as the Ghostbusters. There's one of the Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, check this out. It's a big old 4x4 four four car. It looks like a uh, themed after uh, the nightmare before Christmas it's got the uh, oh, I can't remember what her name is from a uh, nightmare before Christmas and there if you know what her name is leave a comment but uh, yeah that's, that's cool notice on the other side I've seen these guys at how to a Halloween these guys make costumes for people. This is like, uh, it's supposed to be Boo from uh, Monsters, Inc. And then there's that, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, the mean, the villain from Monsters, Inc. Oh, look behind here. They got uh, the Abominable. Look at that, that is cool. See, they got Sully over here. There's Sully. There's one of the scream things. Oh, he's got to setting up the door too. <laughs> Pretty good. Check this out. Got a hearse over here. That's a cool looking hearse. Look at the skulls on the side. And if you haven't watched my videos before, I do this thing every year called Hearse Fest. And I'll be doing that again this year. Check that out. That is cool. This one was in the parade too. Check this out. Got the minion as a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Got this Jeep. This is a Owasso Ghostbusters. Oh look at, he got uh, the minion running from the Pac-Man ghosts. So I love this, look at, they got the sanitizing thing here. <laughs> he got the Frankenstein's hands. Sanitizer hands here. And on the other side I noticed, he's got the skeleton hands. That's pretty cool. I like I said, I think this is going to be basically where people bunch sell a bunch of stuff and, and they'll have a, some attraction stuff. Like, look, there's Frankenstein right up there. Frankfest. Oh, they got the people in cosplay. Okay, they got Tinkerbell up there. And look over here. My friend Aaron Aikman has brought his Scooby-Doo band. Have my friend, a local celebrity around here, Aaron Aikman. That's a Scooby-Doo band. He's Scooby right there. And his uh, friend of his got the Jurassic Park car. There's a dinosaur. Look, not gonna show it too much because of copyright, but this Scooby-Doo thing. 
<laughs> so you can actually go inside the Turner Dodge house. It's got stuff inside too. It's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh look, they're showing on here, Young Frankenstein. <laughs> That's cool. Stuff for Frankenstein. There's the bride. Oh, look at Frankenberry. Pretty cool. Look at these photos here Frankenstein, Igor. That is cool. It says $10 for number prints. Small prints, two dollars each, three to five. Yes. You can even get a T-shirt. That on it. Twenty dollars. We got a paranormal group here. Oh, there's a Lansing Batman. How many people watch the show? But there's a paranormal now. That's right. How many have had a ghostly experience? Yeah. There's okay. Beetlejuice over there. I didn't really care. I just want to see how many times I can get you raised your hand. That's part of the part of the exercise. Like the um, I'm kidding. I do care. Uh, you may hear me use some... I showed you there's people in cosplay. It's still okay. I did bring something I'm going to wear a little bit later. Right now I'm just going to walk around. But yeah, I got something that I think that a lot of people would like. Check this out. This one here. Look at these boxes they make. Got a big eyeball on there. That's cool. Oh, look at that one. It's like a dragon. That is cool. Look at these. There's an egg. Like a dinosaur egg. And babies coming out. This out. They got this uh, place here. To stand here, look at down in these little crystal balls. See, there's a, like an iguana, and these all died natural causes. He says there's like a um, what do you call that? Uh, hedgehog, turtle. That's pretty wicked. Oh, an octopus. That is wicked. Oh, look at this inside a light bulb. Look at that. That is wicked. Look at this skull. Wow. This is pretty cool. Look, there's a bat. It's an actual bat. There's another one. It's a bat. Here we go. I should buy this for my friend Amy. She would like that. Look at that, a tarantula. Kind of look like the one I saw on down in Texas. They even got necklaces, see? You can get a necklace with a little creature in it. That's pretty wicked. Check this out. You got the Loch Ness Monster over here. That is cool. Oh, look at it over here. There's a snake. Big old frog. Check out these mushroom heads. <laughs> oh, they even got this little spinning wheel over here. Oh, look at this. Got a treasure chest full of eggs. Dragon, dragon eggs. I like this. Somebody's revamped a little bar cart and it says, pick your poison. I like that. Oh, here we go. Look at here. Look at here. We got a guy with a snake. Look at this. Look at that beauty. Look at him. And look at that snake. I know a lot of people are probably squirming right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they're selling a bunch of animals. Look at this snake here. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Look at them. See ya. I'm gonna touch them. Can I touch them? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm touching them, guys. Oh, snake. <laughs> oh, look over here. Wow. Look at these big. Crystal is moving around. That is a big reptile. Crystal is a. Is that a healer monster? Actual active hunter. She goes out to find a booster. She's already prone being active and moving around and checking things out. Whereas Mark. Saving Scales Reptile Rescue. That's what it, this group is. This is Betty. Wow, look at her. See here, they got a little, is that a tortoise? Yes. It's a tortoise, yeah. Check this out, this one's shedding its skin, look it. Wow, never seen a lizard shed its skin before. His name is Freckles. Yeah, you definitely got a lot of freckles. Oh, here we go. There's a python. Look at him. Just slurring away. Ooh, look at him. That is beautiful. I don't care what you say. That is beautiful. Look at this. It's a I think that's a chameleon. Speckles. And a lot of these are adoptable, this is said. Oh, look at here. Look at this guy looking at me. That is cool. So I'm. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm Kate. I am with Saving Scales Reptile Rescue, and we are out today showing off a bunch of our adoptable critters. So it's not really an overpopulation issue, but people get caught rocking a hard place, and sometimes they can't take care of their snakes and lizards and turtles anymore, and they don't really fit well in a cat cage at the local humane society. So we're kind of that in-between ground. So when things come in, we hold on to them for a minimum two weeks. We do a whole health screen on and make sure they're eating, drinking, and showing normal behaviors. And then once we're ready to put them up for adoption, we have a whole adoption process. We require an application and we require proof of suitable enclosure. We want to make sure that people are having the right enclosure to put them in, they know what they're getting into, and they've done the education to be a good pet owner. But for events like this, we actually bring out enclosures with us so that they are ready to go same day as is. We have heat <laughs> we have heat sources and everything, so things are ready to go. Uh, we do it all by donation, so whatever you want to put towards the rest of the critters' care, we just want to make sure that they find good homes. All right, that's cool. That is very cool, and I never thought about that. You know, where would you send a snake? You can't take care of it anymore. Yep. Can't send it to a pound. You know, they don't really think cat cages the same way your uh, your fuzzy critters do, but right. we're that in-between spot for them. So if you're looking for a new pet, we can definitely help you out, maybe find the right one for you and your household, and get you that new scaly critter. And you're in Dansville, Michigan, right? Yep, we're in yep. Dansville. I'll put a link down to their description, and if you're doing interested, awesome. look them up, call them up. <laughs> and then you might get a new pet, like yeah. this guy. Okay. This squirmy little guy, look at him. I don't care what you say, he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Beetlejuice. There's Beetlejuice. Oh wait, I ain't gonna say it a third time. You might. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. As long as you leave that big old worm. <laughs> so it's gonna buy in this place here. This is called the uh, electric. Uh, Critical. Vector. A vector. Okay. But uh, this is what the guy here. I've never seen him. I guess there's somebody in Howell makes these. Big wall hangers. It's the uh, chocolate. a Frankenberry, Donchocula, and Booberry. That is cool. Yeah, they got all kinds of like magnets here. A bunch of magnets here. Water magnets. Stuff. Put a link down to their stuff. Oh, look at this blueberry too. Frankenberry. 
Oh, yeah, who remembers that one? Fruity Brew, you know, they don't say that one anymore. This one's cool. This one must have just showed up because it wasn't here earlier because there's the the Owasso Ghostbusters, but this is supposed to be the um, from Futurama. It's a minivan, obviously, but it's supposed to be the spaceship from Futurama. See? It says right on the front, Futurama. <laughs> It must have just showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Frankenfest. Thank you. Carolyn, let's stop here. Oh, look at the bat. That is beautiful. Check this out. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, look at the deer head. This is out. You got Loki and this dude. Oh my God! I think he's left over from 2020. <laughs> you stay over in 2020. <laughs> you know, we got the Punisher. <laughs> the Punisher. <laughs> I've been a good boy, I promise. This one's cool. I like how this, they did this, the old antique clocks. Look at, they got the butterfly in there instead of the clock. Look at the modern butterfly. Oh, look at this. That is weird. Look at the unicorn head. Top row, second row. See, I love people that have talent like this. Oh my god, they go in the dark. Why? Go under black. See, we got your jewelry up here you can buy. This out, that's pretty cool. It says this this table's called Carnivorous Things with all the bones stacked up around that. 
That is pretty cool. Look at it, you got the glow and dark rings. Look at that, look at that one there. That is pretty cool. Love her hat, look at it. <laughs> She's a fit in the ride, kind of nervous things. Is that a real skull? No. No, I was gonna say, I was like, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we got Tinkerbell. Look at it's Tinkerbell. Well, hello there, friends. Where's our pixie dust? We we'll go fly away. <laughs> yeah, I might end up in the tree. No, my my way. <laughs> yeah, I Loki. I saw him earlier. Oh, is that Scarecrow? I thought he was left over from 2020. <laughs> All right, guys, I told you I brought something for cosplay. You know, see all these cosplayers are on here. And I saw this was Frank Fest. It's about Frankenstein. What the heck? I have a Frankenstein mask. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna walk around and see what everybody thinks. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Frank is in the house. I <laughs> this is pretty fun. This is walking around. A lot of people are getting kicked out of this mask. You know, he says, I haven't been filming too many people because it is disrespectful. I mean, yeah, it's fun having pictures with them, but who knows? They might not want to be on camera. But it's fun. You know, I'm having fun walking around. It is warm in this thing though. It's like it's a pretty warm day out. It's pretty warm. <laughs> Look, it's my brother. It's my brother. <laughs> I don't think he sees me. <laughs> oh look, we got Jason. There's Jason. Woo. He's got his uh, he's got his machete and everything. He's ready to go. Ah, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you stay, keep your distance. Remember, remember, you gotta keep your distance. <laughs> you know, I got Batman to back me up. <laughs> huh? I can keep him there. <laughs> yeah, we got the Knight, Knight's Templar. Now here's something that's I go to every year here in Lansing. How to Halloween. And I definitely will be going back to that this year. Now that we can have it again. Pedal rig and the lovely Bina is gonna be starting an aerialist performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring our way over here and a big round of applause for Bina and her aerial performance.
No, they got they got the abominable walking around. Check him out. <laughs> and my little buddy That's cool. They ain't getting no uh, yellow lemonade, are we? <laughs> Ice. <laughs> oh, look at it. Here we go. Check him out. Ah, that's cool. Holding them. I've never really seen holding this snake before. Oh, look at this, guys. Still I'm actually them. holding them. Yep, yep. Look at them. <laughs> I'm holding them, guys. Look at Hey, Amy. Would you like this as a pet? I can buy this for you. How about you, Jared? Would you like that? <laughs> Alright, my fellow travelers, that's going to be about it for the first annual Frank Fest here in Lansing, Michigan, right here at uh, Turner Dodge House. This was great fun. Got to have some fun with my my Frankenstein mask, and a lot of people loved it. You know, this was great fun. I'll uh, hopefully do it again next year. So this is fun. Like I said, the hot through Halloween. You know, I'll be definitely doing that one again. Yeah, this this was great fun. I love when they do stuff like this. You know. And I'll put all the link down to all the people that in the shop that let me do it. And I appreciate them letting me film their stuff. You know? I said, I love this kind of stuff. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out on all your social media. Tell your friends, tell your family about me. So I can continue traveling and showing you cool stuff like this. Also, leave me a comment. Any comments appreciated. Any ideas for me? Let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you around the mitten.